Hello, my friends. I hope you're having a great week. I hope the practicing the FE problems is going well. Today we are continuing with the water resources and I have an example on Hazen-William equation. Before I move forward, I would like to remind those with an engineering degree from outside of the United States, if they are interested in evaluating their education in this country, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. You'll find the link under this video. As well, number two, I have prepared a sort of a starting point for people that are just starting out and especially for those that have been out of school for a long time and they don't know exactly where to start. I believe the Simply Supported Beam uh, Shear Moment Diagram, it's a good starting point. So I have a sort of a guide, right, with uh, explanations, examples, and then a few uh, examples for you to do on your own. Again, you'll find this uh, free guide underneath this video. Click the link below and you'll be able to download it for free. Now let's move on with our example. Two tanks are connected by a 9,000 feet length of 12 inch inside diameter PVC pipe. The appropriate value for the Hazen Williams coefficient C is 150. Water at 60 degree Fahrenheit is flowing through the pipe at a velocity of 10 feet per second. The tanks are open to the atmosphere. Entrance, exit, and minor losses are negligible. The difference in water surface elevation between the two tanks is most nearly. As the problem states, we have Hazen-William coefficient. Let's go ahead and look for the Hazen-William equation in the FE handbook. All you have to do, just go here and type Hazen, William, or just Hazen, and you will be redirected to the formula, which this is the formula for the velocity and this is the formula for the flow. We are going to get the formula for the flow because we are given, we are given the flow as 10 feet per second, or no, we're giving the velocity at a velocity of 10 feet per second. So I guess we should be using the formula for the velocity. Great. Um, okay, so the velocity is K1 coefficient of roughness times hydraulic radius at 0 0.63 and the slope at 0 0.54. Now, K1, again, is a constant and is given as 0 0.849 for SE units and 1.318 for US CS units. Let's see, we are working here and we have feet, so we have US units. So our K1 is going to be 1.318. Let's go and write the formula down. I will point out what we know. We have velocity as 10, feet per second, we have K1, as we just mentioned before, we have US units K1 is equal to 1.318. We have Hazen-Williams coefficient 150. We know that the tanks are connected by a 9,000 feet length of 12 inch in diameter. This means, so let's say we have our tank, one tank here, another tank over here, tank one, tank two, and we have the pipe that connects them, the 9,000 feet pipe. This is the difference in elevation. So our slope is equal to H over 9,000. It's because we are not given the slope, but we can calculate it from here. Our slope is h over 9,000 feet, so we can replace it in our formula. Now, the hydraulic radius is, let's calculate it, rh for a circular pipe is equal to diameter over four. And this is actually taken from if I was to calculate the hydraulic radius from its original formula, which is area over wetted perimeter, and this equals to pi d 
squared over 4 divided by weighted perimeter if you have a pipe. The uh, imagine it's all filled with fluid. The weighted perimeter is actually the length of the circle. And the length of the circle is 2 pi times the radius. And this can also be written as pi times diameter, right? Diameter times 2 times the radius. So we can write this weighted perimeter as pi times diameter. So from here, we read this goes away. What's left is d over 4. So just remember for circular pipes, the hydraulic radius is uh, can also be written as d over 4. And in our case, d over 4, we have 12-inch pipe. Uh, we will transform it into feet, and it equals to 0 0.25 feet. So now we're able to solve this um, equation. We have 10 feet per second equals to, right, a V is 10 feet per second equals to K1, which is 1.318 multiplied by coefficient, Hazen-William coefficient, which is 150, multiplied by hydraulic radius, which we just have calculated is 0 0.25 to 0 0.63 and multiplied by the slope is age over 9,000 feet. And all that is at 0 0.54. Now from here, we have to calculate for age. Let me write down this a little bit differently. Instead of, I will be writing this age at 0 0.54 and 9,000 and 0 0.54. So from here, this, we are going to uh, calculate for age. So age, age is 0 0.54 equals to, we have 10 times 9,000 over 1.318 times 150 times 0 0.25 to 0 0.63. And here is 9,000 at 0 0.54. Let's not forget that. So let's see. We have 9,000, 0 0.54, 10 multiply. So I'm getting 1, 3, 6, 5, 0.5 here, we have 0 0.25, 0 0.63, 150 multiply, 1.318 multiply, I'm getting 8.82 times 55 at the bottom, so let's do this equals to 1, 365.5 will divide by 82.55 and I'm getting 16.54. And this equals means that age, our difference in elevation between those two tanks equals to, and let's see, we have let me just write one thing down. So 0 0.54, this equals to one, I did some cuts over there, is 1.1 1. 1 over 185. And now if we are to calculate age, we'll equal to this, and then the one goes here, and we have 16, 54 at 185 equals, so do 1654, 185. If you do the calcs using your calculator, you will get 179.6. The difference in elevation is approximately 180. 
which is close as the answer is C181. That's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps people like you find me. If you have any comments, any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.